Most business owners believe that content on social media doesn't drive sales for their business. I have to say, I agree. It's actually the capture systems that do. And in this video, I'm gonna show you how you can create a landing page on Kit, formerly known as ConvertKit, so that you can start driving more leads to your business. And if you've been watching the last few videos on this channel, I've actually created a video on how to create a lead magnet for your business and a video where I broke down the eight steps to creating a high converting landing page and how you can write that copy, which is the most important part of a landing page. So the very first thing that you're gonna to wanna to do is create a free account on Kit. You just gotta to go to kit.com, open up your account. It's absolutely free. But basically, you're gonna open up your dashboard as we have it right now. And then we're gonna to go to the Grow tab and go to landing page and forms. The first thing that we're gonna to wanna to do is go to create new at the top here. We're gonna open up this page and we have two options. We can create a form or we can create a landing page. The form is something that you can embed into your website. And so I would recommend this if you get a lot of traffic on your website and you wanna drive traffic towards your email list. But right now we're gonna be focusing on landing pages. So we're gonna click on that there. For the sake of uh, this example, I'm gonna use Parnell, which is one of my favorite ones. We're gonna click choose. And here we're gonna have the template of the landing page. Using the copy that we already have, we're gonna go ahead and start populating. Uh, the very top part and the most important part here is gonna be what we called above the fold. So we're gonna go to the top here where it says new ebook. I'm gonna put new guide because that's what I'm gonna be creating. And then the name of my guide, which is gonna be the landing page playbook. Okay. And then I'm gonna use my sub headline that I've already created and I'm gonna put it down here. That's gonna be the eight steps to building a high converting page that actually gets you leads and sales. Perfect. So now that we have this here, we're gonna to wanna to upload our image. And this image should be representative of the, the product or service that you're basically promoting here. Um, I've already uploaded a few images, so I'm gonna scroll down to mine. And my trick here is to use Canva to create all the lead magnets. And from there, you can just kind of pull the images for the cover and let's see, there we go. The landing page playbook. The next important part is um, after your sub headline is your actual intake form. And as you can see, ConvertKit has started with first name and email address. And I really wanna urge you to think about the most important information that you need to capture from your audience that is essential to this very first transaction. There may be some hesitancy from the prospect, from the lead, if you start asking them for too much information, like their phone number or the address or all these other things. So we're gonna leave this form exactly as it is, but if there's anything else that you absolutely need, like non-negotiable from your lead in order to be able to help them better later in the process, then by all means you can capture it here. You can add the plus and you can see there's custom fields or tags that you can choose from. Now, the next thing that we wanna do is show some sort of social credibility. So what makes this landing page playbook valuable to somebody that is considering downloading it? And so this is where we wanna get a testimonial from a previous customer or somebody, a friend or a fellow business owner who you've maybe shared your product with and they've given you an authentic testimonial. And here I have one from uh, from Eric. So I'm going to put his name Eric instead of Fing Main. <laughs> uh, and Eric is from Toronto, Ontario. So we're going to put that there. And it's really cool. You can actually personalize that image, which is really nice. I have a photo of Eric here. I'm going to put a little photo of him and you can see how it basically give some social credibility to your product. If you are actually gonna be selling something on this page, it's extremely important that you have a lot of social credibility because it's something that people are gonna be judging you on. How many people have downloaded this? Does this work for other people? And if it works for them, maybe it'll work for me. That's kind of the mindset that people have when they're looking at landing pages. So we wanna give that social credibility to them as soon as possible. And now on the left-hand side, uh, Kit has built this section, what you get. Again, if you watched the last video, I talked about Dan Kennedy's formula for writing sales copy. And he's a big believer that bullet points are a very effective way and efficient way of communicating a message in the clearest way possible 
that makes it really simple for your audience to understand. So rather than thinking about features, you wanna think about benefits. And I've already wrote down all the benefits for mine, and we're gonna put those in right now. So at the top, we're gonna to put what you'll get, create a line space, we're gonna delete this placeholder text, and we're gonna paste it here. What you get, you get the eight part structure to make money from your landing page. Crafting a clear, irresistible headline, subheadlines, formulas, storytelling formulas by Russell Brunson, bullet sales copy by Dan S. Kennedy, social proof marketing secrets, opt-in forms and frameworks, cost to actions and benefits, and sign-up marketing secrets. Now, the best way to actually communicate to the pain points and the desires of your customers or prospects is by telling them a story a story where they can see themselves in you and a story where they can see themselves as the hero and you as the guide. Here's the story that I wrote down. I used to think that having a digital product was good enough, but I was wrong. So that's my story. You can steal it or you can download the landing page playbook. I'll link it down below and you can develop your own story based on exactly the product, the pains, and the desires that your audience has. And so what we're gonna do, we're gonna embed a video uh, to the bottom here. And if you have a YouTube channel, this is a great way of kind of creating an ecosystem or a flywheel where you can further nurture and create more touch points with your audience within the landing page. So we're gonna go to this video here, how to build a landing page that converts like crazy. We're gonna click share and copy that link. And to add the link, we're just gonna hover down here. There's gonna be a plus icon that opens up. Go to video, paste that link, click embed, and voila. The next thing that we wanna do is actually customize this page because these aren't my colors. So we're gonna start going up to general styles and upper background. We're gonna start putting in our colors. And if you need help with developing your colors and your brand identity and all that kind of stuff. I actually created a video I'll link up here. Uh, it create, gives you a framework and a playbook on how to figure out your brand identity and strategy. So have a look at that. Another thing that is very important that we need to pay attention to is the call to action. As I said in the previous video, a call to action can be presented as a literal call to an action or a call to benefit. I prefer calls to benefits personally because I feel like they speak more to the pains and the desires of the audience or the customer. So I'm gonna put, get the playbook to make money. Again, I'm gonna choose a big, bright, bold color for that. And I'm gonna change the color to my deep blue. We got our landing page basically made. Now, I do want to point one thing um, that I, I did mention earlier is the call to action. You want to have multiple calls to action throughout your landing page. So you obviously have this big yellow button up here, but also underneath the checklist or the, um, the bullet points, we're going to have another call to action here. Get the landing page playbook now with a finger going up because that's the button you got to press. And further down after my story, I'm also gonna include that again. The next thing that we're gonna do is actually link our file. So we're gonna go to settings at the very top and you're gonna see we have, uh, starting with general, when a visitor subscribes to this page, you can A, show a success message or B, redirect to an external page. And so I'm actually gonna put my YouTube video here because I want whoever downloads this to actually work alongside me on getting it done. So we're gonna put that there. That means that anyone that subscribes will be redirected to that YouTube video. And then you wanna create a unique URL. So we're gonna put the dash landing dash page dash playbook. That's gonna be our domain. We're gonna click add. And on this link is where I can find this landing page. We're gonna wanna copy that. Maybe just open it in a separate link. So once it goes live, this page will be updated. All right, so now we wanna go down to incentive. And so incentive is what happens after in terms of the email side of things with your lead. So it's automatically checked to send an incentive email. So this will be sent once a subscriber signs up and you can actually edit that email and that email can say, you know, thanks for signing up. Click the link below to confirm your subscription 
or whatever you want it to say. You can redirect them somewhere else or even start a nurture sequence, which I can create a video on. If you're interested, let me know in the comments. But a nurture sequence will essentially send a series of emails that nurture your audience, tell them who you're about, what your story is, how you can help them and what action they should take to get that help. But we're gonna keep it simple and just leave the incentive email as is for now. I can break that down in another video if you like. And then here is where you include your lead magnet if it happens to be a PDF like mine. So this is where you can upload that PDF, right? Also, if you're doing something like if you're a videographer or filmmaker and this is a landing page for LUTs, you can link the LUTs in there. Pretty straightforward. Last but not least is set up your SEO. For SEO and ranking purposes, you do want to actually name this page and come up with a search engine optimized description of your page. So I would name it what it actually is, the landing page playbook. And then if you want to leverage like ChatGPT, um, you can feed your digital product to ChatGPT and get it to give you a search engine optimized description that you can put in for metadata for Google. Last but not least, you want to upload an image, something like that. Perfect. That way, when somebody Googles it and it comes up, there's an image for it. And then you want to link any analytics. So if you have Facebook business, Google analytics, or any of these, you can link those right here and start capturing that data. You want to click save and of course share, copy that link. And now you are ready to start sharing your landing page with your audience. I hope that this video helped you. If it has, please make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. And let me know what you wanna see next. I'm considering making a video on how to create content on social media that drives people to your landing page. Not too long ago, I created a video that got almost a million views and gave us over, over a thousand subscribers. And that video basically was created to point out a problem, offer a solution, prompt people to comment a certain word, and then I would send them the link automatically through ManyChat automation. So that sort of workflow is exactly what you need if you wanna start converting your audience on social media, all the attention, all the views that you're getting into leads and customers for your business. And I hope that by watching these last few videos, you've come to understand the value of these funnels that you can very easily set up for yourself. And this is why we actually help all of our clients inside of the Personal Brand Accelerator create a lead magnet and host that lead magnet just like I've been showing you in these videos so that they can start creating leads for their business using content. Inside of the Personal Brand Accelerator, we help six and seven figure entrepreneurs grow and sell on social media. We help you research, script, edit, and publish content across all social media platforms so that you can create omnipresence all with less than five hours per month. And in some cases, we'll even fly out to you to film all the content in one day. The Personal Brand Accelerator is designed to help you grow your audience, brand, and revenue on social media. And if you're someone that has been considering growing your personal brand, I'd love to have a conversation with you and see how I can help you. If you're interested in learning more, I'll leave a link down in the description where you can book a 15 minute consultation for free. My name is Sebastian, co-founder of Awake Abroad Media, and we're on a mission to help 1 million entrepreneurs and creators create a better life and business with content on social media. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.